What's going on, Sparrow Run? What's up? My name is Zell. This is my assistant. Q. And uh, we are the engineers here at the Child Inc. Music Studio in Sparrow Run for Sparrow Run. Mm-hmm. And today, today we got a little treat for you guys. You know, today's our first day doing this podcasting thing here at the studio. Uh, Q and I have been working in the studio since October. No, 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 no. September? I think it was since September. About September, and we're heading into the new year now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's it's Today is December 27th, uh, 2023. Hope you guys had a, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. The happiest of holidays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've decided that we're going to start a podcast in here to show you guys what we've been doing in here talk about some topics that's going on talk about some topics that uh that we that we have that we're thinking of you Mm -hmm. know what i mean like let's let's open these things up for discussion right Right. Mm -hmm. and we're also going to give you guys a few things let you guys know how well we actually have some we got some money for you guys Mm -hmm. like i don't want to make the show about money but we have a we have a nice little contest coming up Mm -hmm. and we're going to tell you guys all about it so without further ado Buckle up, baby. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Q, what we got? What we got first on the um? First on the list today, yeah. the creative the contest. Creative contest. What is that? The creative contest is for, um, hmm. it's for the kids in our community, right? It's for the children to come and bring their creative minds and put some art together and. Win some money, really. Yeah. To summarize it. That's the short and skinny. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So the creatives contest is exactly what it sounds like. It's the creatives contest. It's a contest for creatives. Mm -hmm. We originally had had a contest for producers. You guys come in, make whoever makes the best beat wins this wins that but we've uh we've since then spoke talked it out talked it over with the rest of the child inc staff and they they got on board with the contest and instead of it being for just producers we wanted to open it up for all creatives so podcasters streamers uh poets musicians actors actresses whatever your creative talent is Mm -hmm. painters you're right like mm-hmm. all you guys like um we want you guys to come out and uh uh experience this this uh yeah. creative environment that we have here that we've built here at the child inc studio of course in partnership with zach and tyler with travel songs they are awesome and we also have uh scott from the cause uh, the cause is also involved in the studio as well. They are offering their expertise in teaching social emotional learning as well as video production. So if podcasting is something you want to come in and express as your creative skill to enter into this contest to win, what's the cash prize? The cash prize is $200. She. Two hundred dollars, man. You know what you could do with two hundred dollars, bro. I'm doing a lot with two hundred dollars, mm-hmm. bro. Like that's that's all facts. That's great. Two hundred dollars to come in and just you know let loose. Exactly. Be creative. Really. Do what you love to do. Mm-hmm. Like if you could get paid <clears throat> to do what you love to do, I would take that opportunity. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. <laughs> what about you, Q? What do you love to do? What do I love to do? I think I love all things art, really making music, listening to music, drawing, talking about art. Like, yeah, art is my life, man. We're all creatives out over mm-hmm. here, man. Just come come to your people. Yeah. Right? Come be amongst your other creatives. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, the bloopers are, are the bloopers are gonna be crazy mm-hmm. right here. All right. So all right we talked about the creative contest now we went over some points what are some what are some facts on on, of this contest by facts we mean faqs so frequently asked questions some facts is do you have to be in the music studio to 
win the contest. We, you do, you do not have to uh, create your entire project here at the studio, but you do have to book at least two sessions here in order to enter in the contest and in order for your project to be entered into the contest so you got to come in you got to sit with us just fill out some papers nothing crazy just your name phone number email address uh just a sign in sheet and sit with us chat with us uh q and i let us know what you want to do how you want to mm -hmm. do it and we'll help you through it we're judges as well so yeah completely no bias and we can't enter into the contest so you know we're just here to help you guys have a good mm -hmm. time and may the best creative may the most creative win mm -hmm. so a few other faqs about this thing is we do have a rubric for this um for this contest that you guys should follow mm -hmm. uh the rubric is going to let you guys know how exactly you can get a perfect score in winning this thing um and what would get you the lowest score so you can avoid that um, we do have that so you guys aren't just swinging in the dark um, what else what else you do have to be a resident of Sparrow Run mm -hmm. you do have to be from ages 12 to 18 we may push the the limits to 19 we'll see how it goes but for now um, from ages 12 to 18 can enter mm -hmm. Sparrow Run resident you have to book two sessions in the studio with us for in order to submit your project um, Let's see, two hundred dollar cash prize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, I, did I miss anything? I don't know. I think that's it, really. Should we talk about the rubric? All right. Sure. Do you have it? Um, I don't have <laughs> it on my phone. No. I think I actually. Mm -hmm. I might have it. I'm sure I got it somewhere. Either I texted it to. Yep, I got it. Yep, oh, I got it too. There we go. All right. So, what are what are the what are the grading scales? Like what are they being graded on? You're being graded on creativity, originality, effort, and length. Effort. How are we going to grade them on effort, right? Right. So, we would grade them on effort based on the amount of time and perseverance mm -hmm. they put into their project yep so and, oh as well as the use of the studio because mm -hmm. uh, we have to see it you know what i yeah. mean like you guys could probably put in max effort at home or you could put in no effort at home really? but that's also why you guys got to come in and book at least two sessions we have to see the effort that you're putting in is part of the grading scale mm -hmm. how are we grading them on creativity creativity we're baiting we're grading them on did I say bait or did I say grade? I think you kind of said both. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're grading them on creativity by their imagination. And they're kind of like, mm, yeah, basically just their imagination and their use of the studio. Like, are they just, are they just like slapping stuff together? Right. Or are, are they, they actually putting in time and effort All right mm -hmm. what are, what were the other topics um originality and length okay you want to unpack those for the people okay so originality lack of originality just means that you had someone do it up someone else do it for you you had a ghostwriter write it for you you just it wasn't original just basically and like the highest you could get was very original you know very diverse like never never really seen before but in a in a way and great use of studio studio media equipment yeah how long has it got to be it's ha it has to be two to three minutes and no less than 60 seconds um so it has to be at least 60 seconds long mm -hmm. but you guys will see on the rubric that for a perfect score it, it's more than likely going to be from two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. But that's not to say that your 60 seconds, your one minute, can't be so jam-packed with creativity and content gold mm -hmm. that it doesn't score five. All right. So 
is that all we need to talk about for the creators contest um i think so oh and another prize for the creative contest oh, is yeah. the plaque the yes your name on the wall like mm -hmm. we're gonna start a, we're gonna ha we have a hall of fame here mm -hmm. and we're gonna because we're gonna keep doing these competitions mm -hmm. and you know every time we do the competition your name is going to be highlighted on the wall we're gonna mm -hmm. have plaques and then we're gonna put those literally in the hallway leading up to the studio mm -hmm. um we're gonna call that our hall of fame yeah yeah that's gonna be dope i completely mm -hmm. forgot about that i went straight to the i can money. see the vision already it isn't just it like great? all the vases along the wall just walking up to work like man right we're here we mm -hmm. <laughs> we here like mm -hmm. this is a world-renowned studio mm -hmm. you kidding me all the greats come out of here mm -hmm. and as as we progress and as we host more competitions the prizes will the prizes will vary so mm -hmm. it could vary from 200 dollars to even more so Ooh. Mm -hmm. listen to the salesman over here the prices vary <laughs> oh snap Shoot. <laughs> all right so all right. yeah man i can't wait for the creative contest to start it's mm -hmm. gonna be so bomb uh but you guys can start by following us on instagram at child inc dot music studio c-h-i-l-d-i-n-c dot m-u-s-i-c-s-t-u-d-i-o um follow us on instagram uh, check out our YouTube channel and our Facebook as well. Like and subscribe on those uh, platforms as well because uh, these podcast recordings will start going live and they'll mm -hmm. likely be live on YouTube and or Facebook. Um, so definitely, definitely follow us there on those platforms. Check us out um, because we're going to get a lot more into what we do here in the studio. And you guys, I'm going to want to miss that. What do we do here in the studio? Are we just like, I I'm, love it here. I love it here. Yeah, it's great. We we make music. As of now, we're recording and making a podcast. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's All right. How about how about how is your time here, Ben? Have you ever been in a music studio before this? Before today, I want to say no. No, I haven't. And being in the studio is just like it's a different environment in in general. You feel me? like it's it's great some things like just learning how to make music and learning the behind the scenes just changes your perspective on music in general and it makes you listen to songs differently so it's great yeah that's that was answered beautifully <laughs> <laughs> so i uh, like what for the people that that aren't aware what have what have you been learning and what have you been doing here since since we've been partnered up so far, I've really just been learning um, the behind the scenes, you know, DAW. <laughs> nah, that's a bad how, word. Mm -hmm, how um, everything flows into, you know, one signal system. Flow. Signal flow. That's all another vocab word. And yeah, there's so much more topics, but yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, Q is being modest here. He's <laughs> actually made like three different beats. Something like that. You know what I mean? And he's written to just all three of them, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the first time he's ever made a beat. Mm -hmm. This is the first time he's been in the studio. And he's writing music to the music that he's creating. Like complete hands on creative control over the entire process it's a whole new process and beginning for him and uh it's a pleasure and a privilege mm -hmm. watching the growth and your process on your journey thank you, man thank you remember when i was 16 <laughs> do i remember when i was 16 i do remember when i was 16 you know where i went for my 16th birthday where Chuck E. cheese <laughs> really bro that's no joke like that's for wow. a fact i went to Chuck E. cheese for my 16th birthday had my whole family come out there my whole family came too to and Chuck E. cheese for your 16th i wanted to birthday. go to Chuck E. cheese i don't know I, I felt like i was having like a midlife crisis it's crazy i was an old soul i felt like i was getting older i was mm -hmm. leaving my childhood behind mm -hmm. and this like my 16th birthday was sort of like 
all right i'm stepping out of and into mm-hmm. uh out of something old into something new right and i don't know something in me just said my spirit said Chuck E. cheese man like mm-hmm. let's go out remembering where our favorite place as a kid was i think that's great for my 17th birthday i think i may do something like that i don't think you should <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna tell you bro it wasn't mm. it was uh, yeah I don't. I to this day I don't know why I did that. Like, mm. it wasn't the best. The pizza there is good though. I don't know if it's still good. It might be. Like the thin crust pizza. I don't yeah. know, but it was good. Cause the cheese be cheesing. Mm-hmm. It be mm-hmm. cheesy. Yeah, but I can't do all that cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. Bro, you was just drinking a milk the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. I was. But. He said. Man, I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> I was like, bro, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ooh, boy. <laughs> but mm-hmm. so we not only do we record and make our own beats in here, mm-hmm. um, we actually take the sessions for the uh Sparrow Run residents, mm-hmm. twelve and up. Um, it is from twelve to eighteen, but you know we m- we we might be able to be a little lenient mm-hmm. for the nineteen year olds, eighteen and nineteen year olds, but primarily for the 12 and ups uh you guys can come in here you guys can film a podcast that you want to that you want to film yourself as we're doing now Mm -hmm. and as i mentioned in the beginning this is our first time doing this in here right you know we had the idea and we just set up the mics set up the camera Mm -hmm. and we started going you know what i mean we don't even have a name for this podcast we don't have a name we don't have a uh, logo we don't have no we nothing. got nothing for you guys mm-hmm. we got ourselves mm-hmm. <laughs> a dollar and a dream <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got baby mm-hmm. um but if you guys want to come in here do what we're doing come on down you know we're more than happy to show you our process how everything goes how it mm-hmm. hooks up um and actually do it for you if that's what you prefer but come on down uh get creative with us join our creative contest and what else do we do in here we record artists uh, musicians Mm -hmm. we've had uh we've had guys come in and make beats for themselves Mm -hmm. as well truly yep we had this we actually showed we we've we've taught how the system on here goes Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so if you're used to a different system we'll show you how this system works um, and if you have any questions, hit us up. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah. Childink.musicstudio. All right. So apart from making beats and everything, I think you guys should actually like really come try it out. It's it's fun and it's an experience. And missing out on something like this in your community is honestly like. It's free. It's free. I don't think we said that on here yet. It's If it's, you live here, it's for you and it's free. Everything is free. <laughs> All right, so speaking of artists and making music, like every everyone started somewhere, like the small, the small artists in our community, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's this. I have this. I don't know of too many artists coming out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you guys got to come by the studio so we can be made aware. But we have right. one guy that's come by, mm-hmm. TMS. TMS. TMS is fire. Mm-hmm, TMS is fire, bro. Mm-hmm. He came into the open house where we just had a bunch of you guys just in here checking mm-hmm. everything out. That was our soft opening. We're we're gonna do a, a grand opening at the end of January. But during our soft opening, we had about 13 of you guys come in, express what you like to do, what you might be interested in here. TMS said, Bro, I already record at studios, I got mm-hmm. music online. I went to his Apple. His Apple Music profile. That man. Bro got like two or three or more full projects out mm-hmm. already. Like full mixtape albums. Like they're already out. Mm-hmm. I went and listened. I had, I saved a few of them mm-hmm. to my library that yeah. I listen to every day. That boy fire, bro. Mm-hmm. He got he got a different flow. flow yeah. It's like, different. It's different. It's the, mm-hmm. like and we're not pretending different neither. Like, you know right. how people be like, yeah, it's different. It's this, this, and they gas it up. Mm-hmm. Nah. It's really different. This no cap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, facts. TMS fire, bro. Mm-hmm. If you watching this, you gotta come back in so we can get some more. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. gotta record some more, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's free, bro. <laughs> it's really free. Who else is coming out of here, though, that you know Um, of? Junior. Junior. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When we met him, he said he moved away, 
and he had just come back. Mm-hmm. He came in at one time. He put down some. He put down some heat. Put down some heat. Word. Yeah. We gotta finish it. Never yeah. came back. Like you gotta come gotta back. Gotta come so back. We can finish mm-hmm. the song. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't say joy. No. I don't. I don't know. Because I don't think he has anything out. You know right. what I mean? I don't think Julian... But he has a lot going for him, too. Like, he has this whole, like, XXX reincarnated type vibe he has <laughs> going on. Right. And I like it for him. Because, like, he is, like, that's, like, an honestly, like, honest to God, good motivation for, like, making music. Yeah. Like, X, yeah. He's inspirational. Yeah. And I can tell when, when he comes in that he wants to, you yeah. know what I mean, get mm-hmm. the stuff off the ground. But... We need him to come in. You got to come in. Yeah. You, you only get better by mm-hmm. going through it. And as you learn the process, too, it gets easier. So mm-hmm. I know it'll be, like, hard in the beginning, but it's it's worth the wait. It's worth the process. You didn't know how to walk before you started running. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that. You know what I mean? You got to learn. You got to start somewhere. Mm-hmm. Man. So I don't really know too many other artists that are in this neighborhood yet. We yeah. have a music studio here mm-hmm. and no one's, you know what I mean? Like we have a music studio here and I'm sure the the best artists here would love to take advantage of it, mm-hmm. especially the fact that it's free. So, you know, once we once once the thing gets off the ground and more you guys hear about this and come in and, and record with us, sure you'll make it on that on that list of, of artists coming out of mm-hmm. Sparrow Run because Sparrow Run has always had a lot of talent like mm-hmm. even when I was a, a kid lot. you know um but it sucks the the artists that you guys don't know that came out of Delaware before you guys this time you know what mm-hmm. I mean like do you know Bobby Dimes I feel like I do know Bobby Dimes I feel like I do maybe what's what's the song there's only one song that comes to mind when you say Bobby Dimes' name. Rest in peace, by the way. I'm in Delaware. My is everywhere. <laughs> ah, he knows yeah. Bobby Dimes. Shiz Nitty. Mm, Shiz Nitty. Probably not. No. 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 If I heard the song, I'd know. It's like one of those. But he had a couple of them though. Mm. Like, and he he's like a he's sort of like a hood legend. You know what mm. I mean? Um. Yeah, socks in the air. Oh, socks in the air. Yeah, I think <laughs> you played that song for me, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. Yeah. Sap. Sap. Sap the beat man. We were just talking about Sap, right? Mm-hmm. Sap the beat man is a producer. Went to Christiana High School. He had graduated the class right before mine. We both were mm-hmm. at the same school at the same time. This guy, when he was in high school produced the beat for in my bag by meek mill mm. right when we were in high school that song in my bag by meek mill i'm in my bag i'm in my i'm in my bag oh and i mm-hmm. that song took off and then flamers blew up you know mm-hmm. what i mean all his his flamers mixtapes um sap has been involved like since then and since then he's created the hits for mac miller, mac miller um yep. Uh, actually a, a lot of main like a lot of industry artists uh but and he's right here from delaware mm-hmm. dj brand dj brand is also from delaware he is meek mills tour dj apologize if i did, if i got that wrong but he was also uh the dj on kiss on 1.7 which was a delaware music or a delaware radio station um back in the day it was a tough time when when they went off the air when Kiss One One Point Seven went off the air. Like I, th- I stopped listening to the radio. Shoot, <laughs> Kiss One One Point Seven went off the air. I had no reason to listen to the radio no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? DJ Brand wasn't on there no more. Delaware wasn't on my radio no more. Like man, that's it was tough. It was tough. Somebody needs somebody needs to bring us a radio station back. Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't think radio radio might be dying. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, those are some of the local artists that came out of the community. Community, who are some of the small artists that are coming up now that you're you're listening to? Small artists coming up now. I think, in terms of small artists, hmm, 
or new, new artists. artists, new artists, new artists, new artists. I think like Kyle, Kyle. Um, I spy with my not, little. Not that Kyle. Oh damn, dang, shoot, <laughs> Kyle. Kyle Rich, Kyle Rich, and Jen Carter. Okay. And this mm-hmm. is where you would have to like catch me up to speed right. because. So, you remember when TMS came in mm. and he he played the one song Jen Jen Jen, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's Jen Carter. Jen Carter oh. made that song. Okay. And you know the one the one real popular song that went around for a second and it was like. How did it go? Um, hmm. Whoa, wait. I think I forgot how it went. Oh, no. But it's it's a real popular song, Jen Carter. And wait, we could we pull it up? All right. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a, th- those nice two club. are like very like small up and coming artists. Like. I feel like every song that they make, like as they progress, it just it's just hit after hit after nice. hit. So they're not just like a one hit wonder. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's it's so like this is something I don't think you'll be really fully able to understand until you get to my age, till you mm-hmm. do another fifteen years. <laughs> but when I was coming up. Mm-hmm. And my, my parents got into their 30s, their early 30s, mid-30s, what have you. Mm-hmm. Before that, they were we were listening to the same music, the same hip-hop, the same everything. Mm. And then, I don't know, all of a sudden, they just stopped. Like, they, they stopped listening to new hip-hop music. They stopped listening to today's music. And mm-hmm. it was no longer appealing for them. Or mm. it just didn't do it for them. And now that I'm at that age, I'm starting to really sort of mm-hmm. um, understand a lot more of what they were dealing with, well, you know, where they were coming from. Because mm-hmm. it's it's weird because it's like the music's not the same. It's not what you came up on. It's not right. what you what your regular what your uh, um, uh, what you're used to. But at the same time, <clears throat> I also understand and remember the feeling that I had when my parents started talking about, oh, this ain't music, da 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 That's why, you know, I'll, I'll never, I'll, I don't think I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, the most I'll say is, like, it's not for me. Right. But it's, like, it's new. It's mm-hmm. it's going to continue to elevate, evolve, and, and be different. And that's what you want things to do. Like, that's what life is about. Like, evolution. Mm -hmm. We all, we've all evolved in some form or fashion from something else. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, Artists today, the ones that are on top. The ones that are on top, like. There are a lot of artists from my generation Mm -hmm. or era because I'm not gonna say generation, because right. a lot of those guys aren't right. But I will say, I don't even. Yeah, because like I was in college when Drake came out, mm-hmm. and when Drake came out, or I was in like I was exiting high school, going into college somewhere around there. So I I, I can mm-hmm. say that that's my era, right? Right. All right. So Drake, Cole, Kendrick. Drake, Cole, Kendrick. I like that. What about Kanye? Because Kanye is dropping a new He's album. Also, so. my era. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Kanye's sort of like he's sort of like like the guardian. You know right. what I mean? Right. Like he's mm-hmm. on a whole different level for real. Like he's mm-hmm. definitely on Mount Rushmore. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I will say he's my he's from my era as well, mm-hmm. and so and like those guys are still on top like, right they've been on top for so long and like i remember seeing them coming into the game like i remember kanye west had it in with 50 cent we thought it was publicity you know what i mean mm-hmm. but they both dropped an album on the same day then they went on a show that you mm-hmm. probably never heard of called 106 in park 
You've never heard of 106 and Free? Nope. That's crazy. I was kidding. I thought he would have heard of it at least. <laughs> but one of, shout out to AJ and Free mm-hmm. and Terrence and Roxy, I think. Yeah, shout mm-hmm. out to those guys. But they, ha- they have familiar names. I don't know. They, they, they kept hosting shows and stuff after mm-hmm. 106 and Park went off the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bow Wow hosted it once. I think he might have been with Sierra. I don't It doesn't matter. But, um, uh, yeah. That I don't even remember yeah. what I was talking about. I went off on a tangent. I forgot what my point was. Kanye. Con- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye West mm-hmm. and Fifty Cent went on went on One Hundred Six and Park, and they were promoting their albums that were releasing on the exact same day. And so they made a competition on who was gonna sell the most records. Fifty Cent is the one that did this. He mm-hmm. went out and said, "If Kanye West outsells me, I'm done." He said he'll never make another album or record. I don't know what he, I don't remember the exacts, Mm -hmm. but I remember he was supposed to step away when he lost because Graduation is the album that he went up against Mm. and he most definitely lost. I mean, Graduation (laughs) is a legendary album. It is. Oh my God. Like, yeah, yeah. College Dropout, so lit. So lit, but graduation, graduation. Kanye West's graduation was. I think I'm gonna listen to that on the ride home. <laughs> <laughs> like no cap. Shoot. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not really a, a huge fan of Kanye, so I can like go into detail. But other than his like mainstream songs, like Bound, like mm-hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't give you like another song. Oh, for real? Yeah, like I don't, I don't listen to. Dang. It's something about like when everybody listens to an artist, like it's kind of played out for me. Like personally, I like, I kind of like, not necessarily underground music, but like music that not everybody listens to. So it's good. Yeah. In yeah, a I sense. Because mm-hmm. once a certain amount of listeners get mm-hmm. to it, it starts getting whitewashed a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Nah, I feel that. Mm-hmm. Well, look at the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's about that time to wrap it up. All right. Guys, we truly appreciate you thank joining you. Thank us you. today, thank coming on this journey with us as we film our first episode here of the Child Inc. Music Studio Podcast with Q and Zell. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I just, that jump flowed. That rolled man. off the tongue, <laughs> man. That, that jump flowed for real. That might be the name for real. We'll have to mm-hmm. run it, run this tape back and, and see how it sounds. Mm-hmm. But really appreciate you guys. Hopefully we see you guys soon for the creative contest. Yes, Hopefully sir. we just see you guys soon. You know, just and come in, check out the studio, sign up, book a session. Yeah. What have you? (laughs) (laughs) We'll catch you guys next time.